We're here at Manic Studios with Blue Ruin. Welcome to the show, girls. Hey. Hey. Hi. Um, so, Anna, how did uh, Blue Ruin form? Um, well, me, Sarah and Charlotte have been friends for a long time and we've always wanted to start a band together. It just never really happened um, until we just decided to do it one day. And, yeah, and we just had a few jams and then came up with a couple of songs and then um, we found Simone. So, yeah. And Simone, can you describe the sound of Blue Ruin for us? Well, we're pretty heavily punk inspired, like love the high nice. energy. We get a bit of like rock and roll groove in there and want to get a little bit more hardcore with some cool. breakdowns here and there. And yeah. Can you tell us what the band name Blue Ruin means and where it came from? So the name Blue Ruin um, came from a film called Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and um, one of the main characters used to dye her hair loads of bright colours and one of the um, dyes that she used was called Blue Ruin um, yeah. and you know we all you know dye our hair well especially in the beginning me Sarah and Anna all had coloured hair so we were like oh we want something like that sort of represents us and also hair dyes always have really cool names and cool. then we remembered that one from that particular film and just sort of like ran with it because it sounds cool and it works for us too. You guys had the fortunate experience of opening for Sheree Curry um, can you tell us about that experience? Um, well, awesome. I mean, like, she was such a huge part of, like, getting women into rock and roll. I mean, cool. like, she was in The Runaways with, um, Joan Jett. And, like, that was, you know, like, there had been female groups before that, but not, like, rock groups. Right. And, like, it was just so cool to meet somebody like that. And the great thing is that she's just as awesome as she is, like, as a performer, like, as a person. She's just lovely and accommodating, and her band was so supportive, so... That was wicked, and I totally almost cried when I found yeah. out. <laughs> Total highlight. Yeah, absolutely. It was good fun. Can you tell us where you draw inspiration from when writing your songs? I like old 50s horror films kind of vibes, and a bit of cool. the Adams Family, you know, that dark humour. Yeah, right. we like a bit of that. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, and what about the lyrical content? Where do the, where do the themes of the songs come from? I would have to say well, the same kind of thing. Eh? Yeah, the oh, same nice. place, you know, cool. and um, Jesse. Yeah, I mean, like, we were all a bit odd. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> just to put it nicely. Um, and, like, I just, you know, growing up, like, I always watch horror movies. Um, we always listen to rock, and the themes were all, always very, very similar. Cool. Um, and, I don't know, it's just a little bit more interesting and almost easier to write about the darker, weirder kind of side of things yeah. and more fun yeah, yeah it's yeah. a bit more theatrical it's sure. a little bit more like I don't know and you can put more showmanship into it as well it's not just like I love this guy and we have these feelings <laughs> we don't care about feelings yeah. <laughs> can you tell us who some of your Kiwi musical influences are Oh god, there's heaps. Um, well, obviously me, Charlotte and Anna grew up going to gigs together, so we're always at punk shows, really into the rabble and Bleeders. the bleeders and false start, which is a little more <laughs> emo. Um, yeah, there's heaps, and Addison was a um, one of Simone's. Yeah, so there's been and Datsuns and early she had stuff, and I could go on and on. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> nice. Cool. Can you tell us what your biggest musical accomplishment is to date? Um, I'd have to say the couple we've gotten, um, the Sheree Curry tour was amazing because it was our first show out of Auckland cool. um, as well because we did Bodega and King's Arms and yeah it was really cool like actually getting to hang out with the band and stuff for more than one night. Now we're going to check out uh, your first single called Scream Queen. Uh, can you tell us uh, a little bit about what that song's about? Uh, well, it's sort of very typical of us. Is that it's a very like theatrical um, horror movie sort of song. So it's sort of about this girl who's kind of she's new to town, sort of that horror movie kind of look of oh, who's this new girl? And then she turns out being a little bit more spooky than you would expect. <laughs> oh, cool. So yeah, it's got a bit of that vibe. It's definitely very much our style as far as performance. So where can uh, the Push Play viewers check out what's happening with Blue Ruin online? You can like us on Facebook, We Are Blue Ruin at Facebook, and Instagram at We Are Blue Ruin. Cool, very good. Well thanks ladies for being on Push Play this evening, it's been great having you on. And um, now we're going to check out Scream Queen by Blue Ruin.
To view the full episodes, check out Push Play Music TV on dailymotion.com or premiereproductions.co.nz. Tune into Push Play Music TV at 9pm on Tuesdays.